This is a flight test for my EC-135 from Flish RC. It's a 450 scale uh, helicopter, 450 size. It has a Fenestron simulation fan in the back. I've done a few flights on this on my channel, but this time I want to test the accuracy of the GPS. This is coming with a 60 amp ESC. It has the H1 flight controller and it's got a fly sky receiver in there turn there on she has to get her satellite positioning Don't let that happen. now I have to wait for it to get the satellite Okay, satellite positioning is there. You see where it's sitting. Some low level flying first. Very controllable. This 450 is awesome. Very accurate. Minimum robotic feel. This is on GPS. low and the parametric sensor works really nicely you can tell it's just precise so we're gonna go 3d now we're gonna go 3d mode there you go it's in 3d mode no more gps banks much more it is a little more Definitely, you have to pay attention when it's in manual mode or 3D mode. It drops on you because your stick is mid-stick and at mid-stick, it's designed to have zero pitch and it drops. So you gotta be above mid-stick at all times. Let's see if I can do the low level flying manual we 
This is manual. That barometric sensor really helps if you want to fly low and not be worried about anything. Because otherwise your thumbs have to do the barometric sensing. But this on 3D or manual is a blast. I mean, this thing flies amazing. For a scale bird, I mean, you can't do TikToks and and inversions, inverted flight with this. I'm sure you can, but I, I wouldn't do it with the fuselage on it. It's not designed for that. Okay, let's see what time we, we have put it back on GPS. See, it's in manual now. I'm going to put it back on GPS and it just, I can let it hold. All right, let's do, let's go back home and see how accurate it is. I'm just going to press home. Let's see how accurate it is. Yep, okay. It's correcting itself. Wow, not bad at all, man. Within a foot, maybe? Within a foot. We had her here before. Within a foot, I'm impressed.